Hello and welcome to Selenium XPath tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the XPath function text method. Now, text method is used to find the element with exact text match, right? So on your web page, you might have the web elements which have the text defined for that particular web element. And the format of this particular XPath function with the text method is a bit different from what we had seen for the contains and starts with functions. So it starts with a double forward slash, which is for the relative um, XPath. And then the tag name, which whichever uh, tag you are trying to find out for uh, with that particular text. So you start with the uh, square brackets and then the text that you're looking for. So for that particular tag, if there is a text defined, then you can just specify that text in the actual text field here, right? And you will be able to find the element using the text field. Now let's understand this in the real time. So let me open um, Chrome. And here on this page, I'll show you some of the web elements which contain the text. So let's first see how you can figure out that particular web element contains text. So if I click right click on the first web element, which is the name and inspect in the Chrome browser, the, now you can see it is the input tag, right? And it contains certain attributes, which are type, name, ID, etc. But there is no text defined for it, right? So there is no text field as such, which has been defined. But if we scroll down a little bit and let's analyze these uh, links here. So right click on terms of use link and click on inspect and here you can see it's an anchor link with the href and then you can see that the target is blank which is basically uh, it will open in a new window uh, and then it has the text terms of use right so any element which has this particular text is what you can identify using that particular text method in xpath similarly if you see the next link the text for that link is master subscription agreement and there is another link which is privacy statement. Now all these links you can identify using the text method. Let me open the XPath finder here. So control command F or control F if you're on Windows and then we'll start with double forward slash which is relative XPath and then we'll specify the tag which contains this terms of use so the tag is a anchor text and now you can see as soon as i specify the anchor text it highlighted the first anchor that it was able to figure out on the web page right but now we are we want the specific uh, web element which is which clicks on uh, terms of use so i want to click on terms of use so i'll specify uh, anchor and then uh, square brackets and we'll use the text method so I'll specify the text method and specify the actual text for that particular web element in single quotes so the actual text is terms of use I'll copy that and paste it into terms of use and now you can see one of one has been highlighted so this is basically the unique web element that we have been able to find out using the text method let me copy this xpath and go to pycharm here let me change the code so i'll say click link and provide the xpath so let me copy the xpath again i copied the xpath and then just provide the xpath there and this is not required so i'll just remove that all right then it is sleeping for four seconds and then closing the browser so this is just to demonstrate the xpath that we are finding uh, that they actually work in the robot framework if you're using any other frame uh, any other framework uh, selenium with java or selenium with python uh, the XPath locator strategy still remains same. So you can use the same XPath in any of the frameworks that you are using. So let me uh, run this particular code and see the results. So it will open the browser 
and then should uh, click on the link terms of use so it's opening the browser maximized the browser and you can see it has clicked it on terms and closed All right so let me open the report open in browser i'll just simply say firefox you can see that this is it has successfully clicked on the link terms of use and open open terms of use window right so that's pretty much all about the text method in expert locator hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching